DeMarco Murray is on the phone right now. The leading rusher of the National Football League, DeMarco Murray of the Philadelphia Eagles, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. DeMarco, does it still take some getting used to hearing you referred to as a Philadelphia Eagle? It doesn't. It doesn't. It definitely sounds great. Um, I'm definitely used to it now, and I'm excited to be an Eagle, and um, things are looking great for us. Well, I know. I mean, I've been an NFL Network guy for 13 years, and sometimes the word ESPN still slips out of my mouth, DeMarco. So it's, <laughs> you know, so it's... Oh. You know, it's not yeah, that bad. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely can see how that can be confusing a little bit. But like I said, it's just definitely, I've, I've definitely become accustomed to it, and it, it sounded great rolling off your tongue. So, <laughs> well, if I could just turn the page back a little bit, um, when when this was all going down, we we were hearing everything about everything except for your situation. I mean, there were so many rumors flying around about so many players, and we were hearing nothing about you. What was going on? with you and the Cowboys, and how close did it come, perhaps, for you to stay there? Um, you know, we, we had a lot of talks. We had a lot of talks, and, um, you know, things happened the way they did. I think they, they were meant to be like this, and um, it was it was some things that, that could have been done differently. And um, But, like I said, I'm blessed and very fortunate to be a part of this great organization, and I wish those guys nothing but the best. And uh, I'm happy to be here, and um, I knew, you know, pretty much – once the agency started, that um, there was a, a high potential that I wasn't going to be there next year. So as soon as he, they did let you to hit the free agent market, you, uh, in your mind, thought that's it? That'll wrap it up for me in Dallas? Well, you know, I mean, it was it was, it was was a lot of time. I, I thought they had a lot of time to get something done. It was a lot of a lot of good talks um, between, you know, between the Jones and my, my agent. And, you know, for me, I felt like, um, you know, they, they knew what they wanted to do. I knew what I wanted to do. And, you know, I think both sides tried as, as hard as they could. And, you know, things didn't happen the way um, they wanted. And, and you know, I think that um, I'm in a great position. I think they're in a great position as well. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what Jerry Jones essentially said, um, saying, in essence, while including the tight ends, fullbacks, and the entire running game, that, uh, quote, unquote, we're better. That, that they're better off now, right now, even including saying that Murray certainly is in that thought, but we've got a chance what we've got to do with our depth, with the talent and the competition of protecting Romo. He thinks that the, the running game is better. How do you respond to something like that, DeMarco? Honestly, I don't. Um, you know, like I said, I, I spent four great years there. I wish those guys talking about the best. And um, I know they got a lot of talented players on that on that side. And um, if that's how they feel, I'm, I'm happy for them, and uh, I've definitely moved on, and I'm very, very blessed to be a part of this great organiza organization, and um, you know, we're, we're excited about the upcoming season. Sure, and that said, I just had Al Michaels in studio. He's going to call your return to Dallas uh, in week nine. What do you think that's going to feel like, DeMarco? Oh, I'm sure it'll be uh, very electric. I mean, a lot of a lot of emotions, and, uh, you know, like I said, um, like I said, it was a great four years there. They gave me the opportunity to play the game that I love, and, and now that I'm here with, with this group of guys, this group of group of men. It's 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 definitely different, and I love it. I love every part of it, and I'm excited. I'm ecstatic about this upcoming season and what we're able to do. And uh, I'm sure it'll be a good game. And you know, but like I said, we got a a lot of a lot of tough games before that, so I'm definitely not looking past the. Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, that's the, that's the Monday night debut for you and the Philadelphia Eagles in this highly anticipated Eagles season. I'm on the phone with DeMarco Murray uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Do you believe you would be in Philadelphia if Sam Bradford hadn't have been acquired there first, DeMarco? <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't know. I think that I mean, having him here is, is definitely is, is great for this team, great for for um, this offense. And um, you know, once he did get traded here, um, you know, I immediately um, was like, "Hey, we got to get something done there. Let's let's make it happen." And um, we're able to. Um, and so he's, he's a great person. Works very hard, and um, you know, he, he's excited about this upcoming season. And you know, your your time together at Oklahoma. Uh, was that something that attracted you to be part of perhaps a career renaissance for him in Philadelphia? Is that Was that part of what uh, attracted you to the Philadelphia Eagles, DeMarco? It, it was. You know, we always talked about it. You know, we were best friends. We were roommates in, in college. And, you know, you know, he was in the 
and a fellow year before I was. So we always communicated throughout the season, throughout the off season, and hung out and whatnot. So we always would joke around about, hey, if we could ever play again, if we could never, you know, get a couple guys, you know, that we had there, then you know it would be fun. It would, you know, be it would be great for us. And you know, it so happened that. You know, this opportunity presented itself, and, you know, I don't think I was going to pass it up, you know, no matter what, and neither was he. So I thought that, um, you know, this is a great opportunity for him and a great opportunity for myself and, you know, the rest of the group. Have you spoken at all with one of your Oklahoma predecessors, Adrian Peterson, lately, DeMarco? I have, I have. I um, actually saw him um, um, a few weeks ago. Um, he's just looking looking good. He's always, you know, in great shape and good spirits. He's a great person, and I know he's, he's excited to get back on with the team and, and I'll have a great year. DeMarco, how does the Chip Kelly offense suit you? I think it suits me. Just um, just, um, just give me the ball in, in different ways, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of playmakers on this team, so it's going to be um, hard to just try to stop the run or try to, you know, key in on one guy, whether it's running game or passing game, because you have so many different weapons, and I think Chip does a great job at at um, using the talent that he has. And, um, you look at outside, you got Jordan Matthews, and you got the young guy. Um, you got Miles Austin and Brent Selleck and um, Zach. And Darren Sproles is unbelievable running back, so he can do it all. And I think he does a great job of finding ways to get guys the ball. And what do you make of LaShawn McCoy's comments uh, from uh, Western New York about uh, the color of skin being part of Chip Kelly's talent evaluation process in Philadelphia. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. You know, I don't know what what was going on. I'm sure he loves the loves the Eagles and, and what he was able to do here in uh, the past four or five years. And um, but you know, I don't I don't see that. So I'm not really. I wasn't here last year. I don't know what was going on. So. Well, what you were doing last year was toting the rock at a record pace, and uh, the number of touches that you had um, certainly concerned some observers. How are you feeling after uh, a season with so much action and activity for you in the Dallas backfield, DeMarco? I feel amazing. I feel amazing. You know, I pride myself on working hard and, and, and getting ready to, you know, for this grueling long season. Um, and, and with this new strength, Strength and conditioning staff. It's it's been an unbelievable process for me. I'm getting faster and stronger, and and um, so I, I'm excited about this upcoming season. I've had I've been here for about two and a half, three months now, and I, I feel stronger and faster than I've ever felt in my life, and I'm excited about the season. Yeah, I mean, is that part of look? You're, everybody certainly of your talent level is a motivated athlete and has every reason to perform at a high level, uh, pride, et cetera, et cetera, but. Coming off of a season like that, wanting to be a bell cow in a way, again, for Philadelphia in this division, obviously that was won by your former team last year, does that add any extra uh, chips, figuratively, obviously, on your shoulder coming into the season? Um, you know, you always want to try to be the best, you know, regardless of circumstance. You always want to be the, try to be the best player you can be, the best team you can be. And I think we have a lot of hungry young guys on this team who, love to work hard and they love to compete at a high level and that's the atmosphere you want to have you know and um i think we're headed in the right direction i think we're building a great foundation you know, to compete at a high level this year but uh we know that the work that we we're doing now and the work that we have to continue to do is only going to help us you know throughout the course of the season so we know um what it what it takes you know they won the division two years ago so they know what it takes to win and, and how to win and did you get like that blender? Is that what supposedly you got? Like a blender, so you could do the 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 vegetable juicing and all that sort of thing that, that Chip likes to do. <laughs> I'm still waiting on mine. I'm still you, waiting on it. You don't have it. Well, what's I up don't. with that? <laughs> I, I thought still waiting it, on it. I thought it's sort of like you know you become a member of the Eagles, you get a blender. I thought that's what happens. Hey, I'm still waiting. On, maybe they sent it to the wrong house, so I gotta make sure they have the right address. Yeah. I mean, that's not right. You're you're the you're the reigning Russian champ, Demarco. I mean, if 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 you want to have kale juice, you should be able to get it anytime you want. They, you know what? They have great smoothies here that they make, and I'm more of a smoothie type of guy. I'm okay. not a big juicing guy, so but the the smoothie they make for me every day is, is fantastic. So what's your so smoothie of choice that. then? What is the smoothie of choice for Demarco Murray? Um, there's a little banana in there, a little peanut butter, a little protein, and okay. um, a little vanilla protein. So it's a little mixture. 
So no cheese fries for DeMarco Murray. Is that what oh, you're saying? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Not yet. I mean, you got to try it once, right? You just got to let loose just one once. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe after season. You know, I'll, I'll try a little bit. See, that's dedication, DeMarco. Right there. Definitely. That's dedication. Oh, yeah. Thanks for calling in. I really appreciate you taking the time. No problem, Rich. I appreciate you having me on. Always. That's always. That's DeMarco Murray, the rushing champion. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.